Ooh-wee, we are talking about light in light levels. Every light source in Minecraft shown, explain, detailed. So here we are in Minecraft, a very, very dark and spooky world. And we're gonna go through all of the blocks in Minecraft that generate light and all the details about them. Now, a few things is that I have set my smooth lighting in my options. See this uh, video setting smooth lighting? Turn that off. That way you can see the edges, the perfect crisp edges of light here. Uh, this area, uh, every single one of my light sources, and I have a whole bunch of them. Oh, it's raining. Oh, get out of here. Toggle downfall. What the heck? It's making my world even darker. Uh, every single square here is a uh, 32 by 32 square. So we have, uh, so we can easily see the light level uh, inside of it so you can see uh, later on we get to things that aren't quite so bright so you can see exactly how close in the radius of light uh, can become and these first items that we're going to be talking about start off at light level 15. If you are on Java Edition and can hit F3, well, you can see that light client light level there. That is what is generating the light. And as you walk away, it goes down to zero way over here. So where the block is sitting is where it is generating its light level. So all these blocks I talk about a light level of 15, well, 14 blocks away then that is when the light stops because itself is generating the light later we'll get onto blocks that only create a light level of one which means the block that they are sitting in is lit by one extra level and that is it so if it happens to take up the whole space of the block then you're not even going to be able to tell that there's extra light there because it's taking up its its own space, uh, but they will generate light. So let's get started. We are going from most light generated to least light generated. And these, they're really not in any particular order. I'm kind of going with my favorites here in the beginning and starting off with the lantern. Uh, uh, these first, uh, there's like five of them. They're all gonna be the max light generated. The lantern is one of those with a light level of 15. Moving on to a lit campfire. That one also has the highest light level of 15 and it has a, those beautiful beautiful smoke particles absolutely love it next is the jack-o-lantern jack-o-lantern is a really nice block to generate such a high level the lo the highest level of light uh, because it can be harvested obviously and it can be grown so early on in the game or late in the game when you don't have things like glowstone or a whole bunch of campfires or lanterns or stuff like that you can of course make uh, jack-o'-lanterns. They also take up an entire block space just like the glowstone or sea lanterns uh, later on, except they are a lot cheaper to make with only needing a pumpkin to shear the pumpkin and then to throw a torch into it in the crafting table. So jack-o'-lanterns are really, really interesting blocks that they create so much light for so cheaply. Next is the trusty... Uh, glowstone. I remember when glowstone was like new to Minecraft when like I was like you'd go to the nether and find glowstone. It was such a rare thing and you know, it's not a hundred percent renewable. So a server would be like completely wiped out of glowstone. Anyway, glowstone has of course the maximum level of light and it's kind of the old classic like you need a maximum light, okay, just use glowstone. Next is the redstone lamp powered, obviously if it was if it's un unpowered, <laughs> it'd be no light. But a pow you know what that might be cool to have a little itty bitty glow, like it gives off light level three or something like that. But anyway, uh powered, it gives off the maximum light level. Obviously, it does need some redstone in order to be powered. Maximum maximum light level, maximum 
redstone ability. Next is sea pickles. I love these things. Sea pickles are adorable, and as you can see, they give you the maximum light level. I'll be doing this later on uh, to show that show that it's you know less blocks away from the edge here but four sea pickles inside of water obviously if there's no water there's no light the the pickles will not generate light this is really if you want something that uh, well i guess i was going to say if you want something that matches the ocean floor this is kind of the only thing that you can do but i guess that there are sea lanterns and and you know other blocks that can be placed on the ocean floor but uh like actually we'll get to the conduit in just a moment um so the sea pickles though are almost like the the torch of the sea <laughs> is really you're going to be using these on the ground a lot if you're trying to make a sea scape have lots and lots of light and they give off the maximum level of light next another sea thing the sea lantern very similar to the jack-o-lantern or the glowstone or the redstone lamp uh so all of the those are maximum levels same thing with the sea lantern it just kind of has a different texture and a different look moving on to the conduit conduit is one of those very often forgotten about blocks that gives off maximum light level obviously it's probably the most expensive of the maximum light level blocks considering that you need to get a heart of the sea and then get all the nautilus shells to put around it and then you you get some conduit but if you're looking for a very creative way to light a build conduit man conduit is your thing it floats it looks mysterious no one would think that it was generating light i mean it might really if someone was paying attention they'd be like where are you getting all this light from you'd be like i'm my conduit my conduit was creating all this light you can place it in the overworld without needing to place it in water it's a pretty cool block uh so anyway conduit is i think uh no it's not quite last on our list but there's conduit fire fire does a lot maximum light level moving on <laughs> uh beacons beacons also do maximum light level although this is also one of those super expensive things you're obviously you need to destroy a wither which means you need three wither skeletons to destroy the wither and then you can make a beacon block a lot of work but it will give off a maximum light level so you don't need to be lighting your your beacon pyramids either so the, you know, the beacon will kind of do that for you only the base really needs to be lit which is kind of nice but i have actually seen people use this as light i'm not joking so next, we're going to be talking about blocks that are technically, yeah, they give off maximum light level. You can see they give off a maximum light level right here, uh, but you're obviously not really going to obtain these blocks. But if you were doing some crazy build and needed some light, like with commands or something, you could use this. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is the end gateway block, and uh, you can see the the craziness uh, that is beyond it. And if I was to walk into it, I would be teleported Somewhere, I assume. What, what, what happens? Oh, no. Nothing. Okay. In the overworld, it does nothing. In the end, it would teleport me somewhere, I assume. Uh, but yeah, so this this super trippy block, uh, that one will also give off a maximum light level. And over here, we have also the end portal. This is not the end gateway. This is the end portal. This is the same. If I was to walk into that, I would go into the end. Don't want to walk into it. Uh, but this gives off a light level. So any of your end portal rooms, uh, there's actually quite a lot of light generated by one of these. So you really don't have to torch it up all that much, which is uh, pretty cool. Now we're moving on to finally the things that don't give off a maximum light level. And believe me, the list starts getting shorter and shorter. Over here, you can see that the light reached one block away from the edge of my border here. And over here, we got two blocks away that's right not 15 light level 14 light level get out of here crummy light level things uh we got the end rod i love the end rod and only just recently did i realize that you can actually just craft these things using uh blaze rods i i didn't realize that you could craft end rods but hey you can craft end rods you still need cores for it so uh you still have to go to the end in order to be able to craft them but you can craft end rods and they give off a light level of 14 along with the trusty brother 
The one you know, the one you love, the one you use all the time. That is right, the Humble Torch. The torch does not give off maximum light level. It only gives off light level 14. Moving on, we got the Furnace, and this gives off a light level of 13. So now you can see that we are three blocks away from our edge over here. Uh, one less than the torch, your Humble Torch, and two less than maximum light level. I, when I'm like starting off in a world, I normally try to like use a torch <laughs> to light when I'm really in a pinch and like trying to go down quickly. I use the torch for light. Yeah, I mean the torch. I use the furnace for light. Uh, yeah, it's true. I, I do it. Uh, obviously, it has to be activated. It has to be smelting something. That's why I have this sort of situation uh, rigged up so that it's constantly smelting stuff all the time. Uh, but that is true for the furnace. That is a light level 13. Obviously, the other things that are similar to the furnace, like the blast furnace, that will also give off light level 13, and the smoker, that will give off a light level of 13. So all of the kind of mechanical blocks that will smelt things give off light level 13. Moving on to light level 12, that's right, we are one, two, three, four blocks away from our border now. That is three sea pickles. We had four. Now we have three. I'll give you a little hint. We're going to see two and one later on. But that is light level 12. That is the only block situation that gives off a light level of 12. We are looking at another portal. This is just the nether portal portal part of the nether portal. You know, it normally has a frame of obsidian and stuff. But if you make this, it'll give off its own light. Light level 11. We are now five blocks away from the edge it's kind of hard to count, just trust me. But this gives off light level 11, and it is the only block that also, oh, you can hear it, uh, that gives off light level 11. So we had light level 12, light level 11. These guys are all alone in their light level. This looks so dark, boop, but it is actually activated redstone. This is light level nine, and we're getting into the elements of uh, light level where things will start to spawn very soon. Uh, bad guys spawn at light level seven. So yeah, that's right. This will actually stop mobs from spawning like right there. Like this is light level eight. This is light level seven. That's when mobs will spawn. Right next to the redstone, you're safe. Uh, so actually it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bad uh, lighting uh, thing. But hey, as long as redstone is activated, it will give off a light level of nine. Also, in the light level of nine category, we got two sea pickles, two of them. And you can really see that our light level is decreasing quite a lot compared to how much light was taken, you know, how much light would expand into our border. The border is still the same size, but we are shrinking down in the amount of light that our blocks create in the border. We are down to light level seven. That's right, even with this block generating its own light, mobs, hostile mobs will spawn, and we have an ender chest. The ender chest gives off its own light. Many people don't know that, but uh, yeah, you could use it, uh, you know, as a pretty crummy light source, but hey, it would be a light source. The other thing that gives off the exact same amount of light is a redstone torch. As long as it's turned on, you can turn those off with redstone, but a redstone torch just sitting all by its lonesome, same light level as the inner chest. You can kind of see they look similar because they are similar. Moving down, we are finally at our last sea pickle all alone. He gives off a light level of six and he is all alone in that category. Next, you would think that a thing that basically looks like lava would give off more light, but nope. Lava, uh, actually lava, I'm going to get to much later. He's not, they're not in chronological order because it's kind of like a flowy block. Uh, there's some, there's a few things that aren't particularly in light level order, but uh, this is magma and the magma block gives off a light level of three. And as I was saying before, blocks that take up the entire space, you really can't see the light level where the block is. So where it is is three, this is two, this is one, and then this is zero. So you can see that it only, it only a two block step from the light level that it produces. These next few blocks, they are so sad. They only give off a light level of one. The brewing stand gives off a light level of one, and you can see the block that it is on will change to a slightly, slightly lighter version of itself. That's right, light level one with the brewing stand 
Also with the mushroom. So if I break that mushroom, it's almost as if there's like a weird graphical glitch and it just kind of barely highlights the block that is on. So the mushroom does that. Also the dragon egg. So if I break this dragon egg, you can see that the block that it is sitting on is slightly itty bitty amount uh, l light level. And for whatever reason, the end portal frame also gives off a light level one, although it takes up the entire block. So you can't actually really see that it is giving off any light level at all. Now we're moving on to some kind of weird blocks that and weird things that I need to mention. And the first one, see what is giving off all this light? Do you see it? I don't see it. Where is it? What is it? It is doo -doo -doo -doo, the sky. I've broken a little piece of my, I, I made a, oh, well, there's also the moon up there. That's why it looks so bright. But I uh, created a ceiling here to stop the sky from creating any light on our blocks. And moonlight, straight up moonlight, gives off a light level of four. So I had to stop the moonlight from causing issues with some of our really low level blocks because the moonlight would be brighter than those blocks create. So just moonlight is light level four. Obviously the day, uh, that is light level 15, the highest light level that you can get. The day during a uh, storm, and this is rain or snowfall, that brings the light level down to 12. And specifically during a thunderstorm, the light level actually will decrease even more. You can see that the sort of background decreased quite a lot. And that brings it down to 10, which means that mobs can easily spawn underneath the shade of leaves or overhangs because at light level 10, you're only a few steps away from seven when hostile mobs are gonna start spawning. And sort of a weird block that I really didn't talk about because it's not really a block, it's actually a liquid, is lava. Lava will give off da, 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 the maximum light level available, a light level 15. So if you want to get creative with lava, lava could light up your world. You know, it could really, it could, it, it, it's dangerous to work with, but... <laughs> It, it is an effective lighting technique. So you can have lava lamps, <laughs> literal lava lamps. And uh, I think that needs to be uh, implemented into Minecraft. Lava lamps that use actual lava. Uh, but anyway, you could use lava to light if you wanted to. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching it. I really hope that you have learned something about light and the blocks that generate that light. And you can use this in your Minecraft builds. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give us a big old thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and also make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. See you next time. Bye.